Hello squad, today we're going to talk about fire. So fire, essential for life. Keeps us warm, cooks our food, sterilizes our water, etc. So if you are in a rural area and you need that fire, of course the easiest way, make sure you have fire with you, right, with a lighter. Prior to that though, you want to prep your battleground. You want to make sure that you have stuff fuel ready because you don't want to... Um, try over and over and over and over again so have your fuel ready so have your small tinder bottle ready i mean this is small small super super dry stuff then i have my next echelon right ready to feed it with this guy and these are small uh as, as small and dry as i could find them and then next echelon right here because i can't just light something like this and start feeding it with big stuff it's going to smolder out and i'm going to be frustrated and have to start all over again so have those things ready there are a lot of gadgets out there for instance this uh exacto tack uh these are zipper pulls so you put them on all your zippers and they're little emergency tinders so you take one off and you cut it in half and when you pull out the guts if i can loosen this up a little bit because it'll take flame better when you pull out the guts it's kind of waxy and then this is another little exacto tack type, type of gadget right there. And I could just throw spark onto this. Oops, maybe that's, yep, there we go. And boom, fire just like that. And this will suffice uh, as a good source to get my Tinder started. Cool, thank you little gadget for that. M magnesium stick and flint. Really good, can be very frustrating, can be very frustrating. When you start assembling your magnesium, you wanna make it small. So I, I shaved a bunch into the top of this Orvis uh, fly rod cap here. And it's, it's, you don't want big chunks, you want, you want these chunks like shavings or filings. So I'm gonna set it into my, I'm gonna pour them into my bird nest here. We want to make sure we plan this right because we don't have many shots here. Oh, come on, baby. All right. So success. So my bird nest is going. I want to just slowly turn this guy over and make sure that it is lit all the way before I start. Uh, and don't get your, don't let your rag burn in there. But, so he's good. Let me throw away this demonstration. Boom. So on to our next one. Whoo! This next one is tough. <clears throat> let me move these guys. All my little sticks. All right, this next one I haven't done in a while. We're gonna try it out. Probably should have practiced this first. Get these things over there, that over there. Mm. Mm. So, bow and drill. Bow and drill, I'm gonna use you again too for my, my handhold. Bow and drill is nothing more than friction, right? So when it comes to the bow, we want that green and strong and not very flexible. And I made little notches right there to hold that suspension cord in place so it doesn't slip out or doesn't slip out easily. Is that tight enough? Shit, we'll see. And then I just use suspension cord. Well, one side of my drill is flat, the other one is kind of pointed. And the objective is to put it in here and turn it and make an ember. Prior to making an ember, I want to feed this with some dust, right? So something really, really fine, because I need something to feed it. And this is usually the mistake people make, is they don't feed this hole with any kind of fuel. So this could be um, just some uh, sawdust. It could be anything. It could be dry dirt. We just need something to make sure that we are, um, uh, get, uh, yeah, that we have something to ignite in there. All right, so the, the drill, we wanna feed in like this. Oh boy, man, that's tight. And then, I'm gonna 
put this guy here. Let's see if my drill works. And I'll explain the notch system here after I'm done or after I work it a little bit. This is a really good way to make fire, but it takes a lot of work and a lot of practice. I just want to, I want to do this until I see smoke at a minimum. And once I see smoke, we'll stop. Come on, baby. Get some more crap in there. This keeps slipping up on me. I didn't figure that every one of these videos I'm making would go perfectly. So here's an example of one that's not going perfectly. All right, we got a good turn now. Oh yeah. And I could smell. Yeah, already that's starting to generate a lot of heat and get super hot. Now, that's gonna take a while. And I'm not gonna sit here for 15 minutes and have you watch me drill this hole. But we wanna notch that and we want with our knife to dig a hole so that way the drill fits in there and can collect that ember. This notch right here uh, allows us to, um, allows the ember to be fed by oxygen. So pretty cool technique. And as you can see, requires a lot of practice. So whatever, uh, way you want to make fire just get out and practice it sometime even that even if it's with a lighter because people screw that up making fire with matches or a lighter cool squad thanks for watching rock and roll